Hey everybody, it's Felix and welcome once again to my channel. Today we are doing a Finding Nemo quick paint. Um, and now you're all very, very confused because that's not Nemo. For those of you who are unsure what's happening, um, yeah, that's Toothless eating Nemo. So I'm sorry to all you Nemo fans out there. I kind of feel bad. But this inside joke was something that I just couldn't leave inside anymore. It was a comment between a couple friends and I who were like, It'd be hilarious if Toothless found Nemo for us. And I was just like, That is awesome. I must do it. So that's what you're seeing here. This would be Toothless eating Nemo. I'm sorry. Really? I'm so sorry. Um, so a few things about this project that you're seeing right now, it was done live on YouTube as well as Watch Me Work, which is a beautiful website that people can join for different things that they do in life. For example, as an artist, I can go and spend my time there and draw and they pair me up with somebody else who's also streaming, so you're not alone. So it's mostly for those of us who sit on Twitch trying to get people to join us and it just allows us to create a community. Um, I got paired a lot with an architect which is really cool to watch him work and he, he was able to watch us work and answer questions and ask questions and it was a lot of fun and it's actually quite interesting. So for those of you who are interested in seeing multiple streams at once and just seeing a community with each other. Watch Me Work is great. They are a great community. I highly recommend checking them out. Now, because it is restreaming YouTube streams, unfortunately, I wasn't able to put music behind it. So you get a voiceover and beautiful music that is supplied by, you know, free music software. So, oh well. Um, a few things about what I'm working in. This is paint tool side. I unfortunately do not really use anything super fancy. I think the fanciest thing I use is uh, Adobe Photoshop and that's it. I, I use paint tool side and Photoshop for my art and the reason is because unfortunately I can't afford anything else. So it's one of those things. I'm a stay-at-home housewife and a stay-at-home artist and I just can't afford anything else. So I do what I can. Um, and it works for me. I like it. I really enjoy it. So that's the story about the programs I use. Uh, other questions I get asked about how I do my internet, um, or not my internet, <laughs> bing, there goes my brain, uh, how I do digital artwork, there's the words I'm looking for. Uh, it's, I also have a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD. I love my Wacom Cintiq. It was a beautiful Christmas present for my husband when he saw it go on sale. He says, you should get it. I said, are you sure? He said, go for it. I said, okay. How are you going to argue with a husband who's willing to spend $1,000 on you for your Christmas present? And, you know, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> um, my Cintiq is great. I love it. I would never want to speak ill of it. But in saying that, for those of you who are looking at all of us YouTube artists and are going, and most of us digital artists, and they're going, oh, I want what they're using. It works so well. Remember that the product only helps with your skill. I'm not that great of an artist. I honestly admit that. I know I have problems. I know I have problems with proportions and symmetry and color identification. Uh, it's one of those things that I know and I struggle with and I try to improve with every single piece. Now, in saying that, a lot of people are like, oh, but you're so good. If it's, if you don't think you're good enough, is it your programs that do it? No, it's not my programs that do it. They help, but they don't do the art for me. I still have to draw the lines. I still have to figure out what I'm doing. I still have to come up with the jokes. I still have to come up with the design. Uh, it's just the programs are there to support and help. And that's one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about art and digital art more so is that support and help is just a portion of it. So in saying that, this project would have taken me much longer with a Intuos tablet that I originally had 
because I would have to constantly be referencing my computer screen and readjusting myself and it just it doesn't work for me so having my screen and my when it comes to tea work so well together is really important to me now again do your research there is a new company called Huion 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 I think it's Huion uh, apparently their t tablets are just as good as the Cintiqs and the Wacom product, but they're cheaper, so check them out. Do your research before you buy something. We bought the Wacom Cintiq because I'm a Wacom user. I grew up using Wacom. I grew up using um, Sai and Paint Tools and or Photoshop, my apologies. It's just one of those things. I grew up with that product. That's how I started my digital work. So I just stick with the brand I know and I know how to use. It's as simple as that. So do your research. Find out what's going to be good for you. I strongly recommend Draw with Jazza. He has beautiful reviews on the Huion product. Be, being a great artist himself like he's an amazing artist and he uses Wacom as his base product as well but he does do reviews for other product and he has some great suggestions from cheaper product to more expensive product so go check it out and it's draw with Jazza he's big on YouTube if you're not subscribed to him you should really go subscribe to him because he's really good um, so yeah, definitely do your research. Talk to other artists. Go and look at other artists who are doing speed paints and what you want to do and see what they're using because not all of us use the same product. Alright, so it's coming to the end of this video very shortly and I just want to quickly mention that he is available for sale at the conventions that I do. I am doing multiple conventions and you can find all of them listed on my website and as well as down below in the descriptions. I will happily post the ones that I'm doing and when they are and just keep an eye on them. Um, I also have a few suggestions for other videos that people have wanted to see me do. People who are buying my merchandise through Buzzy Buttons or through myself or getting stuff done and printed through my print shop, Buzzy Buttons. So you're going to see more videos from me. I've actually have finally cut out time in my busy schedule to actually start doing videos properly and more often. So I'm really excited about that. I cannot wait to actually start working on more videos for everybody. So I'm looking forward to that and I hope you all um, join me for those videos. So if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm happy to listen to any suggestions you have. If you have a suggestion for a video or for a tutorial, please leave them down below. I'm new to this, I'm learning, and I can't guarantee anything, but I want to hear what you guys have to say, so please tell me. If you have any questions, again, leave them down below, and I hope to see you guys around. So, um, until next time, have fun, keep well, and please come back to see me again. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy. Bye-bye.